Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Over the last few weeks, I've been absolutely bombarded with uh, Instagram ads for a place outside of the Disney bubble, but unfortunately I haven't been able to visit because either it's too expensive to lift or it's, yeah, I just don't have a car. But now that I actually have a car for the next couple of days, I thought, why not? Let's check it out. And that place here is at the Antiques Mall in Lakeland. So it's about 30, 35 minutes out of Central Florida, well, out of the Disney bubble area. And well, we're going to check it out today. Quite interesting. There's a Chuck E. Cheese right next to the Antique Mall. And what else is pretty funny is, like, I lived in what could possibly be, like, the antiquing capital either of Australia or South Australia. Either way, it was like one of the most popular antiquing towns. Yet for the five years that I lived there, I never actually visited an antique shop. This is probably the first time in well over a decade that I've actually stepped foot inside of an antique shop. So it'd be interesting to see what they have in here. I've heard that there's actually some pretty, pretty special and cool stuff in here. So let's check it out. And walking in straight away, I can tell this is an antique shop like no other. I mean, for starters. <laughs> My goodness. It's the Disneyland Space Mountain rocket. As well as this oldie here from the old Astro Orbiters. And they're actually space shuttle themed. And by the Velociraptor, here we have Disney Bears. Great place to find some pins to either add to your trading collection or just ones that you like. And of course, being an antique mall, not everything is Disney based, but that's pretty much what I'll be mainly focusing on today. I believe how they work is, so the building here is split up into, I don't know, square footage or whatever. Each vendor basically leases out a, a square footage of the area, who then, I guess, will get the amount for the item minus either a selling fee um, for the item, which is a pretty cool idea. I'm not that different to, I guess, a market or something like that. So as we saw as we were walking in, not everything is just Florida based, but I guess anything really international, Disney, like this is basically a collector's paradise for anything, really. I mean, name your niche, this antique mall has it. Including, yes, my arch nemesis vinyls. But the fact that these were originally printed on vinyl, I'm kind of okay with people owning on vinyl. I mean, look at all these, well, that one, no, let's keep going. There we go, look at that. Man, some of these are classic, some of these are brand new. Just, yeah, quite a wide range. <laughs> Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, good old parent trap. Ah, Annette's pajama party, yay. And something just in time for Halloween. I'll tell you what though, Disney snow globe fans would not be disappointed. There are just in this section alone, around 40 odd classic Disney snow globes. Coming here, I thought, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll check it out. It'll be a really cool, cheap day. Let's just see if I can leave the place without spending any money today. <laughs> there is just so much cool stuff here that I would love to take home with me. And that's just the thing, home is Australia still um, and I also have to remember either shipping or the price for that extra suitcase and we all know how they treat suitcases at airports so nothing too fragile. The first two rides that most people go on when they visit Disney that's right 
I count these as rides. I wonder if that's actually going to be a thing this year, Disney Plus Day. <laughs> They're kind of cutting back on their content as opposed to cramming more on there. Oh, Sorcerer Mickey. Now, my mum collects, like, jam jars and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I guess, in a way, I can kind of understand. And just to show you guys just the size of this mall, it uh, keeps going all the way down there. Mm, everyone knows I'm a sucker for Stitch, but the one thing that stops me from buying most glassware merchandise it's hand wash only. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to dishes. I just like to throw everything in the dishwasher. I just noticed this. I'm like, what the heck is this? And in fact, it is. You know, back in the old days, uh, we didn't have mobile phones to store, you know, people's names and addresses. Um, and the fact that this is an original bit of souvenir because, look at that. Touchstone, not Disney. That's right, Nightmare Before Christmas wasn't always a Disney movie. It was deemed too adult and grown up for children. Um, and when it became popular again, that's when I guess they kind of changed their mind. <laughs> Lovely. It's just, this place is just so overwhelming. I think it's time for a montage, because if I just went around the whole store, this would be like a three hour vlog, so montage time with the least annoying music that I can find. <laughs> So that montage brings us to the back corner of the store and wow there's some really cool stuff here everything from like haunted mansion and most notably it's actually got a lot of old decor 
from Disney resorts and hotels. So if you ever want your house looking gorgeous like a Disney resort or an old Disney resort, I should say, this place has definitely got the goods. Also holiday decor, ready for the festival seasons, you know, fall, Christmas, all that sort of stuff they've got here. So if you're not a cast member and unable to get, you know, to cast connections or or property control they definitely have stuff here for you to completely disneyfy your place i mean look here mary poppins wallpaper and wow that place was just overwhelming um not just with disney and universal stuff but my goodness just the, the antique furniture the old antique toys lamps um all sorts of stuff from pretty much every era and it's quite weird when you see stuff from your own childhood showing up in an antique uh, mall slash store um, now I kind of know how my parents felt I guess um, yes um, all right well that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoyed having a quick browse around montage style here at the I believe it's the Lakeland uh, antique mall here so until next time guys have a good one bye for now oh no 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 <laughs> I'm sorry did you get my hat in your face Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you saved that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Oh.